Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, six uh, identical uh, blue circles uh, fully inscribed uh, in a uh, equilateral uh, triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius of each of these uh, circles is uh, eight uh, units. And furthermore, uh, all of these circles are tangent to each other as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area and the perimeter of this uh, blue triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Before we do anything else, we must uh, find the side uh, length of this uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the crucial factor. Angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees each. And since we are dealing with this equilateral triangle ABC, so therefore all of these angles must be 60 degrees each. And here's our next step. Let's focus on the centers of these two circles at the bottom. And here in this next, uh, I have connected uh, the centers D and E. As a result, uh, we got uh, this uh, straight line uh, DE. And now let's recall another uh, crucial fact. The centers uh, and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. In other words, uh, these uh, centers, uh, all of them, uh, and these uh, points of uh, tangency lie on the very same line. And now we know that the radius of the circle is 8. So therefore, this radius is 8. And this is the whole diameter. So this is 16. And likewise, this radius is 8 units as well. And if we add all these numbers, that is going to give us 32. So therefore, our DE length turns out to be 32. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, these uh, perpendiculars uh, DP and uh, DT as you can see. Since uh, these are the radii, so this is going to be 8 and this is going to be 8 uh, units as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, no wonder these uh, angles, this one and this one, uh, are 90 degrees each. And now we can see that we are dealing with this uh, rectangle uh, PTED. So that means uh, these two opposite sides, uh, DE and uh, PT are going to be equal in length. Uh, if this side is 32, this side is going to be 32 units as well. So therefore, our this uh, PT length uh, turns out to be 32 units. And now we got this uh, another uh, radius uh, of this very same circle. So therefore, uh, this uh, length uh, and this length uh, is going to be same. And in this next step, I have uh, connected uh, this center D with this uh, point uh, A. And as a result, we got uh, these uh, two congruent uh, right uh, triangles. Since uh, this side length is same as uh, this one, and these are the radii. So therefore, uh, this uh, line AD is going to be angle uh, bisector. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be half of 60 degrees. Uh, so that is going to be 30 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, APD. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. Uh, so therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And here I have copied down this uh, right triangle uh, APD over here. And here we can see that this is our 30, 60, 90 degree special uh, triangle. And we can see that this 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to that is going to be our smallest leg. And likewise, uh, this is our 90 degree angle. So the side opposite is going to be our uh, largest uh, side. And in such kind of triangle, the largest leg is uh, twice uh, as the smallest uh, leg. And the third leg is going to be x uh, times square root of 3. And in our case, our smallest leg is uh, 8, as you can see over here. So our largest leg is going to be 16. 
and our this uh, third leg is going to be a times uh, square root of 3 so therefore our this side uh, a p turns out to be a times uh, square root of 3 and by symmetry this uh, other side length uh, b t is going to be a times uh, square root of 3 as well so therefore this uh, total length uh, a b is uh, going to be sum of uh, all uh, these uh, individual uh, lengths and if we add all of them that is going to give us uh, 32 plus uh, 8 plus 8 is going to become 16 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and since we know that this uh, a b is the side length uh, of this uh, equilateral triangle so therefore the side length uh, of this triangle a b c turns out to be 32 plus 16 uh, times square root of 3 and since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral uh, triangle so therefore all uh, these uh, sides of the triangles uh, are going to be same and now let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this uh, triangle ABC and now we know that the perimeter is just simply the sum of all these uh, side uh, lengths uh, of this uh, triangle ABC so therefore the perimeter of this triangle is going to be 3 times uh, the side length which is uh, 32 plus uh, 16 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3. Now let's go ahead and distribute. So therefore the perimeter is going to be 96 plus 48 uh, times uh, square root of 3. So thus we figured out our uh, perimeter of this uh, triangle. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times AB times a sine of angle C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, A and B are our side lengths and angle C is in between them. And in our case, uh, our uh, side lengths are uh, 32 plus 16 times square root of 3. And likewise this one and the angle between them is uh, 60 degrees so therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half times uh, 32 plus uh, 16 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and then times once again uh, 32 plus uh, 16 times uh, square root of uh, 3 times uh, sine of uh, angle uh, 60 degrees and now we know that uh, sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore uh, this thing is going to be replaced by square root of 3 divided by 2 and likewise uh, these are identical terms so we can write this one as 32 plus 16 uh, times square root of 3 whole uh, square as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 and these uh, things uh, turn out to be the whole uh, square and now let's focus uh, on this uh, part and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to simplify this one so therefore by applying this uh, identity we're going to get uh, 32 whole uh, square plus uh, 2 times uh, 32 times uh, 16 times square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 16 times uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square and if we simplify everything uh, we got uh, 1792 plus uh, 1024 times square root of uh, 3 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, 32 plus 16 times square root of 3 whole square by this uh, simplified form but we are going to multiply these uh, things uh, first and if we multiply these uh, two things uh, that's going to give us uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 times 2 is uh, 4 and then uh, times uh, I'm going to just uh, write down uh, 1792 plus uh, 1024 times uh, square root of uh, 3 
and now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this one so as a result when we multiply these we are going to get uh, 448 times the uh, square root of 3 and when we multiply these ones uh, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us 3 times this quantity divided by 4 is going to give us uh, 768 so thus the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 768 uh, plus 448 times uh, square root of 3 square units and thus here is the perimeter of this uh, triangle and that is approximately equal to 179.14 units and likewise uh, here is our area of the triangle and that is approximately equal to 1544 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye